Hello everyone, coming to you from Dayton, Ohio, United States. Hope everyone is staying healthy and safe during this time period. I was asked the question, what was my most memorable, important, and important game during my five years at Benfica? For me, that game landed in the 2011 and 12 season where we faced Porto in the finals. Um, just to set the stage, it was my first year returning to Benfica. Um, it feels like just yesterday, but it was actually the year my son was born. Cooper, come here real quick. Cooper was born that year, and he is now eight years old. He's going to be a Benfica player someday, right? Mm, or NBA. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks, Coop. Um, so it was an important year for me. We just returned to Portugal. Um, I had returned to play for Carlos Lisboa, um, who was a great coach I played for. Uh, still a good friend of mine. And we were facing Porto in the finals. It was two to two in the series. Winner of the next game won the championship and we had to go beat them at the Dragon. Uh, there was a lot of doubt from a lot of people. Porto had a very good team, we had a very good team, but it's just hard to win there. Um, I was actually playing on an injured ankle that shows you how much that championship meant to me because I, I definitely shouldn't have been playing on that ankle. Um, it was a pretty severe ankle injury. It took me months and months to heal from. But Miguel Estevo, um, our trainer, also a good friend of mine, taped me up and I got out there and hobbled around on it and and we went to battle with them in the Dragon. I think we were up eight or 10 at halftime, uh, but it was a hard fought game. They actually uh, closed in on us. Uh, Carlos Andrade was playing for Porto at the time. Um, he was a very good competitor. Um, he'd hit some shots. They had Greg Stempen. The game was really coming down to the wire. We had um, Diogo Carreira, Carreira, sorry Diogo. Um, he hit some huge shots for us coming down the stretch. Um, I still remember the last three I hit. Um, Porto had cut it to one, and um, I hit maybe what someone called an ill-advised shot I took, where it was a deep three that, that pushed it back up to four. Um, but we had so many big plays from so many of players on our team to pull out that championship. Um, their fans were on top of us. Um, both benches and teams were into it. Carlos Lisboa was coaching as hard as he could and our, our players were all fighting as hard as they could. And, and we pulled out the victory and it was, it really set the stage because after we won that championship, we won three more to make four straight. Um, it was just a real important turning point for us as a program at the time. Um, and it was just, uh, it was an amazing victory for us. So for me in my five years, that was that was our biggest game. Um, just to have a quick reminiscent uh, during this, this time of everyone kind of staying home and social distancing. Um, we miss everybody there at Benfica. I have a lot of great friends we made there. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, I enjoyed going back through this game with everyone. Take care.